We are inside and under the roof tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. It's the opener of this three-game series between the San Francisco Giants and the Toronto Blue Jays. And a look now at Bruce Bochy's lineup card for the Giants. Who are you focused on? Catfish Brown will stand in as he'll get a break from playing the field and be the DH here in this one. Yeah, it's a nice luxury to have here in an interleague ball game. You give him a little bit of a break from the field, but you still keep that big bat in the lineup. All one. And he lays off there, 1-0. EK, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they've been in a nice little groove of winning three of their last four games. And they've got the division title in their back pocket already. Now it's just a matter of playing for the seeding and maybe getting a few of your guys a day off or two before the real fun begins. And a dive, but he's back in. Keeping him close. 1-0 count. Here it is. Fastball got him one to ball, swing through break. it. It's 1-1. One and one. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. In the dirt here. And he is no, safe at second Stay. base as the decision to move up pays off, and that'll likely be scored a wild pitch. Well, if you're following along with the thought process right here, he just watched the guy chase a pitch way out of the strike zone, so he's thinking, hey, I might as well throw another one out of the strike zone where he can't hit it. Unfortunately for him, he also threw it somewhere where his catcher couldn't catch it. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Full count. Three, Three two. and two now. It's a good at bat so far. A walk would give your cleanup guy a chance to bat here in the first with a couple of men on. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hey. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike. And that's the second out of the end. Catfish Brown in now. He went down looking at his first trip to the plate. Yeah, it's always a frustrating thing to go down looking. But you know what? Everybody does it. So you've got to let that one go and make the next A-B count. In there. No balls and a strike. Well, you know, you hear it all the time because it's true. First pitch strikes are so important. It really changes the complexion of the at-bat for not only the pitcher, but the hitter as well, especially when you've got a good hitter up there. To short, Belanger scoops it up, oh. throw in time, and the side is retired. Catfish Brown will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Well, for that man right there, only the one run allowed. How discouraging is that when you're pitching your heart out and you're just not getting the support? Well, the good pitchers really count. don't let oh, it get to them. They know that it cuts both ways. Sometimes you give up five runs and your guys score you eight. You just have to focus on holding up your end of the bargain. To short, hit hard. And that finds its way through for a base hit. With some guys, it doesn't matter if it's 0-2 or 2-0. They take the same approach either way. Well, this right here is... Buster Posey digs in, coming off a single in his last at-bat. Yeah, and so far, that's been the only real offense in this game. Good pitching we're seeing so far. One and here it comes. Runner goes. On the ground to the left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Giants leave one. They lead it one to nothing. Catfish Brown gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Brown. And not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. And that'll get down for a base hit. In there, a base hit. 
throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. The catcher number 28. Stepping in, Buster Posey. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. And that's swung on and missed, and Posey goes down for the first down. And after that pitch was called a ball on the pitch before, I, mean, I think this actually qualifies as strike four. You know, on the mound, he's probably thinking, hey, can I? So a runner at first now with one away. And standing in now, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Brandon Belt. The payoff pitch. He's running towards second. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Yeah, this is going to be a 3-2 pitch. They send the runner here hoping to maybe stay out of a double play situation. The one thing you don't want is the strikeout because normally they've got you dead to rights at second base. But he did get a decent... Brandon Crawford digs in looking to send something into the outfield that gives that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. Well, no complaints on this end, guys. You've got to love any game that's this tight this late. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that pitch. That's on him way too fast. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Well, he's going to find that hitters in the big leagues are much more patient than they were down at AAA. A strikeout in the minors turns into a walk at this level. He swings and pops it high toward the left side of the infield. Donaldson is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. A couple of walks, but no damage. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Catfish Brown will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Designated hitter, Catfish Brown. Floyd pauses. Here comes the first pitch. Grounded to short. Right to him. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. And, guys, I think you might agree there's little doubt that the star of this afternoon's contest was this man, Austin Jackson. Put that on a bubblegum card. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end this really could have been anybody's award. But what the heck, let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He's as deserving as anybody. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. Almost ready for game time at Rogers Center as the roof is shut to keep us nice and warm. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the San Francisco Giants and the Toronto Blue Jays. Interleague baseball comes... Catfish Brown will stand in as he'll get a break from playing the field and be the DH here in this one. Yeah, it's a nice luxury to have here in an interleague ball game. You give them a little bit of a break from the field, but you still keep that big bat in the lineup. The windup and the 0-1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One you got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so put the two. guy on the mound. So let's take a peek Count. at the umpiring crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summersgill. You know, Summersgill has a bit of a reputation for having a fat strike zone. But I don't think that really applies to all corners. 
Also, I've been told that he... And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Giants are down one, two, three. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance. No score. Catfish Brown stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Yeah, ground out last time, but you know with his speed, that's kind of a big part of the way is the game. Put the ball on the ground and force the defense to make a clean, quick play on him, because if they don't, he's safe. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Pretty clear the plan is to keep everything away. And that's smart for most guys, but you've got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the outside part of the plate. And he misses low here, so the count goes to 3-1. and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. This is where you need to pounce. Hit hard to short. Belanger has it. Throw gets him. Oh. Two down. The catcher, number 28, Buster Posey. So stepping in, number 13, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Buster Posey will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game to this point, as he'll do so with the bases loaded. And that key hit still hasn't shown up yet. And like you say, you've got the bases loaded. You just wonder, how many more of these opportunities are you going to get? Swing and a hard liner to shoot. The second for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on this. Catfish Brown will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the ninth as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit. And the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. One of the first times tonight that they've had their leadoff man on base. Now they've got to find a way to build on it if they want to get back in this thing. Buster Posey will stand in now hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. You know, sometimes cleanup hitters are sort of all-or-nothing type hitters. But hey, he's still got a chance to make an impact on this game right now. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Every time he comes to the plate, the pressure gets bigger and bigger. He waited until the ninth inning, but got it done. Brandon Belt will stand in now and hey give these guys credit they're not going down without a fight I'll tell you what they're not too far away from making a game out of this one after all runners on his way to third hit on the ground to short played on the backhand one there on the first and they get the double play but boy was he ever upended at second base the batter right fielder Mark oh, this will be a good look here in show motion. Even in super slow-mo, I think we all know what's running through his mind right here. He knows he's going to get leveled, and this is something right out of a gymnastics class. That one had to hurt. Mark Trumbo will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Line drive to left. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there. And that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Well, we've talked about it all throughout this game. He was completely in charge, essentially, from pitch one. And now he finishes off a masterful performance here, getting the complete game shutout. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home top's player of the game honors in this one. 
Yeah, definitely. A great Sunday afternoon for baseball here, north of the border at the Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the San Francisco Giants and the Toronto Blue Jays. It's Blue Jays baseball, and it's on its way next. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Eric Karros, who you focused on. Catfish Brown will stand in as he'll get a break from playing the field and be the DH here in this one. Yeah, it's a nice luxury to have here in an interleague ball game. You give him a little bit of a break from the field, but you still keep that big bat in the lineup. Stroman comes set. Here it is. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled as strike. Nothing in one. And, Eric, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. And they've got the division title in their back pocket already. Now it's just a matter of playing for the seeding and maybe getting a few of your guys a day off or two before the real fun begins. He's set. Here's the 0-1. A pitch out, one one. the throw, and a good decision yeah. to pitch out that time as he is toast at second base. If you're not an absolute speed merchant on the bases, if the pitcher slide steps, he's got a much better chance of throwing you out. The defense sniffed it out right there. The slide step worked. Great throw to second base, and he's gone. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. That misses. It's to two and two now with two away here in the top of the first. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Working the plate is Carl Dixon. Yeah, you know, I've seen a couple times with Dixon behind the plate where there was some disagreement on pitches up in the strike zone. It seems to be a polarizing spot for him sometimes. So we'll see if that comes into play. Well, that's got to be encouraging for these guys so far. They're Batting facing four. one of the tougher guys around, and that's two hits now here in the first Buster inning, and that ball Posey. is smoked. Buster Posey will dig in now. One home run shy of 20 for the season so far. Ready on one and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Travis is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. One left for San Francisco. And now the Blue Jays will get their initial shot. No. Coming to the plate now, Catfish Brown. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Oh, and it's so important to take advantage of these kind of opportunities early in a ball game. It can change the entire complexion of the game if you can put the other guys on their heels right away. Yeah. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Well, this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities, but they could never really cash them in. So you can bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. And he gets him to swing oh, through that strikes. one. He's in control 0-2. Now with two strikes, he can put the ground ball on the back burner and really go after the strikeout here. A pause and the 0-2. That misses 1-2. One one All right, so he sort of wasted one up right there. Now I think we'll see a breaking ball down in the zone trying to get him to swing and miss. Liner toward right center. That's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. Digging in to try it again. Buster Posey. He flew out in his last at bat. And I'm sure he'd like a base hit right now here of any sort. But hey, another fly ball wouldn't be all that bad. Because he should be able to drive in a run with a sacrifice fly. Runners off for second. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run's in to score from third. It's a 3-0 game. 
And this is a nice job of just getting that bat head out in front. Makes contact with this pitch right on the barrel. Brandon Belt will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. And this inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Soft liner to the left side. There's one. Out. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More to come on the show Sunday. Catfish Brown will dig in. He singled and drove home two his last time. Brown. Stroman's ready. First pitch on the way. Chop foul at the plate. Strike one. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul for strike two. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Hit hard towards second. But right there is the second baseman and that will retire the side. Giants down in order. But they're in front four to nothing. Catfish Brown ready for Down another at bat now. He's Designated two for three so far. Catfish. Yeah, and you can bet he'd Brown. love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that Ball puts a inside. little extra pep in your step. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's one and oh. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Sent on the ground out to second. There is Travis. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the inning. So it's one run. In now, Catfish Brown. Already two for two. We'll look to add on right here. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while, and when he does, he can forget it. And a diving try and left, but he can't come up with it. Well, that's one of the dangers of being a corner outfielder. If you dive, there's no safety net behind you. And I think he's pretty lucky in the end that this one wound up only being two bases instead of three. Heck, could have even been four. Buster Posey digs in. He reached on a walk his last time up and later came around to score. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first, two gone. So coming to the plate, Brandon Belt. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. And that's exactly what I'd expect them to do. No reason to give him a pitch that he likes. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. It looked like he was giving him the evil eye down there, and I can't say I blame him. Yeah, well, he's already been plunked once, and I don't think he's going to stand for too much more of that. Storin comes set. Here he comes on two and two. Hit on the ground to third. Donaldson's there. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. Giants leave one. They lead it six to two.
Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. And this is what you want out of your starter. He gives him seven strong innings, sets things up perfectly for his bullpen. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, it's the first of four between the San Francisco Giants and the Miami Marlins. And a look now at Bruce Bochy's lineup card for the Giants. Who stands out to you, E.K.? Catfish Brown will stand in as one of the stars from yesterday's ball game as he had three hits in the victory. Well, this guy's hitting over 300 on the year now, and he had a good performance yesterday as well. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. I think he was trying to get that slider in on his hands, but I don't think he meant for it to get in that far. I think he just released it a little too late. That evens it up one and one. Chen sets. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he takes a cold strike, too. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. You know, Simmons is one of those umpires that can be a little inconsistent. But I think his strike zone is one that can benefit both pitchers and hitters. It just depends on what part of the zone the pitch is located. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Thoughts, E.K.? Anyone? Christian Yelich will stand in for the first time now. And he's got that average up over the 300 mark to begin playing. Yeah, and he leads his ball club in hitting. So he's a guy that they really look to offensively. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. To second for one. Well, this is a much easier Having play third. for a left-handed first Frank baseman Taylor. to make, especially John when you're charging Carlos in like that. Tenten. He doesn't have to turn his back to the play, so he gets a good gauge on whether he still has time or not, and he's able to fire on the second base in time to get that force out. Catfish Brown will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Three runs already home here. And this is fouled at the plate. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hot shot to third. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So three runs on four hits here. No. Catfish Brown stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And here's a ball hit in the air. Calling for it. Bohr. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Martin Prado is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Grounded to short. Backhanded. And he's retired here one away. Now batting. Shortstop. D. Gordon comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact and he can run. Hit to short. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. So make it two hits for him now on the night. Catfish Brown will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. Don't want to forget about him. Just checking. Here we go. 
This is line to left. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. I'll tell you, if this is in off the plate just a little bit further, this thing might end up in the cheap seats in left field. But instead, it just gets to the outer half. He still gets pretty good wood on the ball, but he winds up pulling it. Striding in to start the ninth, Catfish Brown, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. And so far in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet, so we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. Yeah, and he gets him to swing oh, oh, through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Yeah, he was out front right there, probably guessing fastball. But now 0 2, you can't be guessing anymore. You got to find something in the strike zone and put it in play. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes oh. the throw to first. Brown is retired, and there's one away. The catcher number 28. And, guys, we were treated to an excellent pitching performance in this one by the gentleman you see right here, Madison Bumgarner. Take a snapshot of that. He's our top player.